M. Dolores Medical Systems presents the Analgesia Nociception Index. Annie measures autonomic activity, allowing control of surgical stress and improved outcomes. During anaesthesia and without surgical stimulation, the Annie shows a percentage of the parasympathetic activity in the patient as 82, indicating the patient is comfortable and unconscious. Shown here is a PSI value of 38. Anesthesia produces high heart rate variability driven by high parasympathetic tone and low EEG activity. Anesthesia is defined by Professor Agar as amnesia and areflexia, where the cortex and the autonomic activity must be kept under control. What matters is the autonomic response and the surgical stress. When an incision is made, substances are released which activate nociceptors and afferent fibres. The electrical signal travels up to the medulla where it is up or downwardly modulated before being transmitted to subcortical regions where the autonomic nervous system response is activated. When the signal reaches the cortex, perception occurs and pain is then perceived. In the meantime, sympathetic activation starts in the thalamus, activating the immune system and increasing inflammation. This response is what needs to be controlled before surgical stress negatively impacts the patient. Annie is shown as the percentage of a patient's parasympathetic activity in the previous one or two minutes. A decrease means sympathetic activity and an activation of inflammation. Research has shown that inflammation is the cause of pain and poor outcomes. Hemodynamics do not always react to nociception, but Annie does. Recent evidence shows that when opioids are administered, heart rate and blood pressure are as good as flipping a coin to detect the effect of stimulation, while sensitivity and specificity for ANI is the best in its class to detect nociception, titrate analgesics and improve outcomes. Here, the ANI shows evidence of nociception. By adding fentanyl, parasympathetic activity increases and the autonomic activity calms down. If heart rate and blood pressure increase and ANI stays over 50%, then nociception is not the cause of a hemodynamic increase. In this situation, a vasodilator can be administered, avoiding an extra dose of fentanyl and the risk of overdosing. Annie improves outcomes by allowing fast detection of noxious stimuli and therefore administration of the correct treatment, avoiding an inflammatory response, improving post-operative pain and reducing unnecessary side effects. Annie measures the activity of the autonomic nervous system independent of the drug used. ANI is being used globally to guide anaesthesia and reduce opioid use with excellent results. Publications documenting the use of ANI in the OR and ICU are widely available. ANI allows detection of stimulus well before hemodynamics, quick diagnosis of the etiology of hemodynamic events and precise titration of analgesia resulting in better postoperative pain scores. ANI and High Frequency Variability Index technologies are available worldwide in standalone and OEM solutions throughout our distribution network. ANI is available in the US. Analgesia Nociception Index, ANI. Visit us at www.mdolores.com for more information.